Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Colombani here with Football News International. We have some breaking news from the world of football for you tonight. An upstart agency that goes by the name Baxter, Broadway, and Bros has announced that nine, yes, nine of their managerial clients have signed contracts on the same day across multiple continents in the world. Now, Initial reports are saying that these contracts are the first that these managers have ever had. This is quite interesting news. We have one of our street reporters, Mithriak, who... Wait. Yes. Yeah, I'm told he has someone outside the studio with an opinion on this news. Mithriak? Yes, this is Mithriak. I'm reporting outside the studio. I'm having to hold the camera today as well, so that's why I'm not in the shot here, sir. Um, but uh, yes, I've got a gentleman here. He says his name. He goes by... Navalos. Navalos, what are your thoughts on uh, Baxter, Broadway, and Bros? And uh, the announcement about the nine managers around the world that they've signed all on the same day. Oh, yes, comrade. I am um, not really sure why you are discussing this um, small agency no one heard of, clubs no one heard of. Very interesting uh, decision for you to be discussing this, comrade. Um, isn't there a more interesting football international network news to be covering uh is that what you call oh sorry so, um uh, anyway like uh who best diver in premier league harry kane mosala you know those things uh yeah so you know it is very strange that i'm here cut the feet cut cut <laughs> okay that's uh as always excellent reporting right outside the studio uh more news at 11. Hello, my friends. Welcome into the next experiment in Football Manager 2019 on the channel. If you're new here, come say hi in the comments, drop a like, all that good stuff. Maybe hit that subscribe button. Who knows? This is getting crazy. Here's what we're doing today. As part of my Patreon, which the link is in the description below, it's a way to financially support the channel. At the second tier, which is $10 a month or higher, I tell those people I'm going to try and integrate you into my videos, whether that's as a regen player in the youth squad or in an experiment. So what we're doing was taking nine of those people, thank you for your support, by the way, and I asked them what country they wanted to manage in in a managerial experiment. I only let them select the country. Once we had the country, we went to the lowest playable division in the standard football manager database, and I randomly selected a team using a random number generator to assign them to be a manager. What we're doing in this experiment is they are high potential ability managers. I've not selected the number that's associated with their potential ability. I put every single one of them as the negative 10 range, which if you're familiar with the football manager editor means they are at the upper tier. The ones, I think it's 170 to 200 or 180 to 200 potential uh, ability range, which is the highest. So. Somebody might be 183, somebody might be 199. We're gonna find out as we go. So once we've selected their team, we did that randomly. I didn't change any other attributes aside from, we gave them 20s in adaptability and ambition. The idea being there, they can move countries and they want to move countries because they're ambitious. Loyalty is a one so that they don't necessarily just fall in love with the club that they start with and never move. And we gave them 20s in head coach, assistant coach, and coach. Some of them may start out as managers and move to being coaches or assistant coaches. But I wanted to give them more opportunities to stay active in the game to see what happens to them. And on top of that, my friends, returning in his role as the overarching agent for the experiment is one of our longest patrons, Greg Baxter. Greg Thank you for your support. So we're going to go take a look at all the managers and where they're managing, what their attributes look like and all that good stuff. And then next episode is when we'll start going through the years of them actually being managers. So let's go take a look. So we've landed on Greg's page here as the agent. As you can see above my head, he's known to laud his clients to other clubs to ensure he gets the very best deal for both his client and himself. That is influences right we've got a one on loyalty and a 20 and ambition with our managers plus their agents going to be pushing them to move on to better clubs more money for the agent and the manager right so that's the idea with this experiment we've got nine players we got them all on the same birth date they all sign contracts as of way up there today the 25th of june 2018. Now, one of the things I've learned about football manager experiments is sometimes it'll change the length of the contract based on what's going on in that country. The other thing you'll note is even with their high potential ability, 
I didn't do anything with the current ability. So their current ability is going to be tied to kind of where they start. So there's going to be some that start off in better countries um, and therefore better leagues and therefore they have better attributes to start. But I think that's part of what's interesting is can the folks that are in the small leagues and the smaller countries find a way to continue to grow their careers and see what happens there. So first up, without further ado, we have Pekka Wickman. He has taken over for Hisingbaka FC, the mighty Hisingbaka FC, um, because Pekka wanted to be in Sweden, where he's from. Hey, Pekka. Thanks for your support on Patreon. Um, we set up a two-year deal. It looks like it's kept it there. He's making five fifty a week. I, everything else, essentially, what I'm getting at is all of the attributes, the contract, all that kind of stuff. I said when the contract should end. I said where they should start. And I said what their potential ability should be. That's the only thing. All their birthdays are the same on uh, July 1st, just to make it easy. So they're all the same age. And everything else is determined by the match engine when you load up the custom database. So Pekka takes over for Hisingbaka FC, which if you're, you know, not familiar, is in the uh, Swedish second division north. So what I had to do with his is there's a Swedish second division north and south. So I did a random number or uh, actually I think there's more than that. It's like, it's it's quite complicated. Yeah, look, that you got west, north, east, north, south, other things. So I rolled... I had to roll for him twice to find out which division he was going to land in at the bottom of the Swedish tiers and then which club he was going to land in from there. And so that's how we have uh, landed on Hissing Baka FC. What do you think about Pekka and his future? Got some work to do, but he's, he's super adaptable, people. Let's go. Let's go. Next up on our list is Mateus Mendez, and he's with NAU, which my friends, is in Brazil. Again, I'm not using any custom... I haven't made any changes to the database. I do have my logo pack, which you can see the, the club logo up there. But everything else I've left stock because I didn't want to mess with anything else from like messing up the experiment potentially. So NAU is Nautico, which is in, my friends, if you come up here, the Brazilian National Third Division. Okay, you can kind of see they've bounced around a good bit. Um, but obviously, starting out in Brazil is a bit of a boost. And uh, he wanted to be in uh, Brazil, at, was was his request, or any other South American league. And I thought, you know, Brazil would be interesting. But because of that, right, he's at 1.8K a week because the game, the match engine is deciding everything else. And somebody at that level, it's determining, would have roughly these kind of attributes. So we'll have to see where that takes Mateus. Thanks for your support. All right, my friends, next up is Jakob Hoistrup. Thank you for your support, Jakob. Um, Jakob told me that he wanted to be in Denmark with his favorite clubs being Brondby and Liverpool. So we'll have to see if that influences where he ends up as a manager, which I thought would be kind of interesting. I had some people say like, Hey, give me some languages that make sense. Like obviously for all the, all the managers, I gave them, um, English and the language that is prevalent in the country that they started in. Uh, some other folks said, Hey, could you give me another one? And that I, I did that as well. And so Jakob was the only one to say, hey, give me these two as my favorite clubs. And I thought that might be interesting. So uh, Van Loos, he wanted to start in, in um, Denmark, is in the second division with my friends, BK Frem. Yeah, from FN 2017 when I did a series with them. Um, and on 40 a week, I think he's got pretty good. I mean, these attributes could be better, but you can hire good staff for that. But he's got good man management and motivating. So his teams, although maybe not very technical, will be motivated. And we'll have to see how that fares for Jakob moving forward. So he starts off at 40 a week. Got some work to do. He's got a Continental C, which is, what again, what the match engine uh, said that somebody at his level would have. And off we go. Next up on our list is one of my patrons, Spaceman Extreme. So, yes, we have a manager whose name is Spaceman Extreme. He wanted to be in Poland. Um, and he said, any league, whatever uh, works best. So I put him in Poland because that's kind of where he wanted to be. Um, and he landed with my random number generator with LKS Lodz is how I'm going to say that. And he's got, I mean, again, 950 a week, pretty good starting attributes if you ask me. So that's kind of interesting. Um, they're in the Polish first division. They've kind of looks like they've had a, maybe they had a bankruptcy or, I mean, anytime you go down, 
you skip a level. Something happened here in Poland. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. But they've made their way back. They're grinding. They're back to the first division. Can Spaceman Extreme take them back to the, lo the uh, what is it? Lotto Extra Classa, my friends. Yeah, something like that. Not gonna lie, this one made me nervous. Ryan Kindle Bancroft, ha I wanted to be in Ireland. And with with the random number generator again, Ryan, you landed with Wexford. Um, Wexford, if you're not familiar from my uh, cabin two way save, not very good. And they have traditionally been at the bottom for quite some time. Actually, that is, I mean, in in my version of Football Manager, now that we're like 15 years in the future, roughly, they've not recovered. It looks like they actually did jump up there for one season, which actually I. I if I knew that, I forgot. I apologize, Wexford fans. Um, but as I've been playing my save, they've been bottom dwellers with Athlone in town. So he takes it over at Wexford, and because he's starting in the first division in Ireland, he's not got very good attributes, and that makes me nervous. He's got a national C, so he doesn't have much in terms of badges to help him find that next role. I think he's got his work cut out for him, if I'm going to be completely honest. But we'll have to see what happens. We could be surprised. We've been surprised before at experiments like this. Next up, we have Locke, and I'm confused here because it somehow gave Locke a photo. I'm not sure why. Uh, he told me he wanted to be in India or Hong Kong. I picked Hong Kong because um, I thought that would be interesting because I i don't think I've ever had a player or a manager w with that background. So I'm not sure why in creating a, a, a new person inside the, the, the editor, it attached this photo maybe this guy has the same first and last name Locke just wanted me to use his last name so i've given him the nickname um or, or maybe not his last name but whatever he, he wanted to go like that so um with that he's on 600 a week with kitschy and actually looks pretty good if you ask me i think he's got a good chance and um they happen to be pretty good as it turns out i knew nothing about the hong kong league when i was setting this up and again it was just a, a random number and so it landed on kitschy for him and it looks like that's not a bad place to start we'll have to find out Next up is Andrew Clooney. He want to be in Austria with speaking both English and German. So he's in the first division with SK Austria Klagenfurt. Say that five times fast, my friends. He's got a continental B. Um, 3.1K. I have no idea about the Austrian league. So it looks like they've, what is, that's a, interesting times here. And they've come back and then dropped down a little bit. And now they're on their way back up to the first division. He's got pretty good, I'd say, starting attributes, but he's making, I think, the, the most money. I'm sure someone's going to be tracking all this in a spreadsheet for me because I'm not tracking it currently. Um, prefers a 4-2-3-1 and playing long. Kind of interesting. Again, all that stuff is random. We'll have to see how life turns out for Andrew. Next up, another one I'm nervous about because it's Canada, and we've seen what has happened when we put players or managers in experiments in Canada. Uh, or really players. We've not done managers. But uh, Chris DeVos is with the Ottawa Royals on a whopping 55 euros a week. Kind of looks like Ryan Kendall Bancroft at Wexford, doesn't it? Interesting times. So the Ottawa Royals are in the lower leagues of Canada. So it's the only league. There, there isn't, aside from MLS, going to be a team in Canada where there's a league loaded in the standard database. But this is what Chris wanted, and I was like, you know what? Let's make a run at it and see what happens. But they're obscure. They're founded in 1966. It plays a 4-3-3 passing defending style, I guess. Good luck, Chris. Last but not least, we have Derek Hansen, who is taking over for the Italian, as I mentioned at the start of the episode, Series C side, Ternana, on 4.4K per week. And look at the, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Obviously being in Series C or Italy in general, it's, it's, it's Series C slash B because there's different, there's C slash A, B, C, all that good stuff. I did the same thing, randomly selected which, um, I'm going to call it division uh, he was going to be in and then rolled a random number for the club. So that's where Derek ends up um, to kind of give you, right? They, they were in Series B for, you know, several years here. They had a, Bit of a drop off, and then they bounce back, and now they've slowly degraded. Can Derek Hansen take them not only to Serie B but Serie A? 
I'm sh I'm sure I'm saying B and C wrong in Italian, but I know it's Syria. So can he take them there and then elsewhere? Let's find out. Also, <laughs> of course, there's I always forget something. There is a link below to the Discord. The Discord is an online chat room essentially just for the Grey Hair Gaming community. I have set up a specific channel called Manager Experiment Improvements and Suggestions or something like that. Because I'm sure as I've set this up, you're going, oh, I would have done this differently or that differently or, or whatever. And while I love getting comments, you can definitely leave a comment. It's going to make it easier for me as we get into Football Manager 2020 and start doing more experiments as to what else you want to see or how I could do this similar experiment a little different. So you can hop into the Discord, leave a comment there, and that way I can I can just scroll through that whole thing and save uh, those comments. That would be helpful uh, for me. So check that out in the Discord below. Join the community. We got over 200 people hanging out, talking about football and fantasy Premier League and all kinds of other stuff. And we'll see you next time. This time, really. Thanks for watching. No, really. I, I really, it, I'm, I'm excited about this.